Greetings! I'm Catherine of Sky and am delighted to showcase another game by 11-Bit Studios who I'm featuring this week, showing off several of their upcoming titles. Beat Cop is coming out on March 30th to Steam and is a super unique and unusual game that I'm so anxious to try out, so let's just give it a go. Start a new game and see what the city holds for us. Oh. This is great. Senators' diamonds go missing. Unofficial sources report that following a decision by the NYPD chief, Detective Jack Kelly will be removed from his position and some other things. Oh dear. So we're in Precinct 69 in Brooklyn, New York. Day one, new shoes. Oh my god, the pixel art is gorgeous. I'm sure you've already met our new colleague. But maybe you should introduce yourself again, Kelly. I'm Kelly. Hey Kelly, what's up? Hey Kelly, welcome to the street, detective. Oh, don't forget to kiss our asses, Kelly. Hey, hey, hey. What are you laughing at, Shapansky? Nothing, boss. Use those two brain cells of yours and write this down. Don't come back without writing ten tickets. You mean ten total? Ten each. You a moron, McNabb? We can do it, boss. Brown nose. That doesn't apply to you yet, Kelly. Why, Sergeant Holloway? What's wrong with me? I don't care about your past, detective. Or if you whack that poor bastard. Or if you swipe the senator's valuables. That's what internal affairs is for. They'll take care of you. But now, on this street, you're a rookie. I don't know you well enough to dislike you yet. So you don't have to worry about tickets today. Don't even take your ticket book. Don't get any ideas. Don't mess this up. The detective has it easy with the boss. Better write down that what you need to do, because I won't repeat myself. Yes, sir. You need to meet the big faces on your beat. Go see Rick at his cafe. Meet Louie at his pizzeria. Ivan from the liquor store also wants to meet you. Say hi to Adamski for me. Visit Hair Crank. Oh, and the electronics store too. Because they're uh, complaining about our lack of interest. And don't forget the church. You need to meet Father Mushroom too. <laughs> what a funny name. You got that? Good. Feel free to meet anyone else there too, since that'll be your beat. But I don't need to tell you that, right? Your predecessor will show you around. Fat Mike knows the neighborhood like the back of his hand. He'll explain everything. Your call sign is 421. 421, got it boss. But only Kelly gets a free pass. You definitely need to drop by the church. <laughs> to pray for the boss's favor. Sure as heck won't last. Enough bullcrap. Get to work. Beat it. Okay, I love the text in this game. It's so clear to read. The pixel art is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just looking at all of the characters. They are all just 
just wonderful. Look at all these people. They're all unique walking down the street. Everybody has their own walk, their own look, their own pacing. Oh, it's just wonderful. This game is just glorious to look at. I love it. <laughs> this is good. Kelly, you've already been told everything at the briefing. Visit everyone and introduce yourself. Sure. Besides, Fat Mike will tell you what's what. Round here, you're no big shot suit no more. We'll see about that. Your hands were too sticky at the senator's house. <laughs> Assholes. Jesus. You're Polly? Kelly. Jack Kelly. Whatever. Call me Mike. Fat Mike. Or whatever you want. I don't give a crap. The boss told me to babysit you today, and I want to get this over with. Same here. It's my last day on the street. Let's go. Where? We'll grab something to eat at Louis. It's not far. We'll check on, in on Adamski on the way. I had to step in at his place yesterday. We'll see if everything's all right. Okay, notebook update. Follow Mike to Adamski's. Let's go. I love all of the characters. They're so adorable. Look, there's even graffiti on the wall. Okay, let's go to Adamski's. Good morning, Mr. Adamski. Quiet today? Of course. The idea with the freezer was perfect. The freezer? I'll tell you later. This is Polly. He'll be working here from now on. Kelly. I'm being transferred to another street. Welcome, officer. Stop by every now and then. I definitely will. Visit stores and talk to the owners. They see and know a lot. This is my neighborhood now, after all. And don't stress too much. You don't have to do everything every day. Some days you can go insane with the amount that's happening. You'll see, everything's going to want something from you. You decide what you don't care about. Because you can't do it all. And the sergeant? He won't always know if you do some crap on the side. Not just quotas and tickets. Because you can't retire on those. <laughs> Relax. It's good advice. So what was the deal with the freezer? Don't ask, Polly. Kelly. You work here for a while, you'll start to get it. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Let's drop by Louis Pizzeria. He's got some really good food. Alright, let's follow Mike. I think that's our next, yep, follow him to the pizzeria. So let's go. Oh my god. Oh, the art is so good in this show. Look, there's a peep show. Liquor store. Some guys smoking in the street there. In the alleyway. Okay, here's Louis Pizzeria. Let's go in there. Oh, a new policeman. Welcome to our humble establishment. I'm Kelly. We know. We know. We Italians know everything about this neighborhood. We came by for a pizza, Louis. They're transferring me and Polly's taking over. I hope our relationship will be fruitful. Of course it will. We hope that the unfortunate incident with the senator... A simple misunderstanding. Yes, yes, a, a misunderstanding. That could be cleared up. Maybe with our help. I can handle it. Ah, of course. But we could always be of help. Polly's new here, but he's a quick learner. It's Kelly. And now, how about that pie? I'm starving. Fifteen minutes later. Great pizza. Okay, let's go. That was really something. Louis makes the best pizza pie in the city. I'm gonna miss it. I bet he sure knows what he's doing. In a month, I'll be wearing your uniform. <laughs> no kidding. But be careful, Polly. These are no ordinary Italians. I can imagine. You need to be delicate here. And you might live to see retirement. Like me. Hey, Polly, look. Kelly. It's Polly to me. Some dirty hippie didn't pay the parking meter. Write him a ticket before he skips out. I didn't bring my ticket book. God damn it. The boss was right. 
If I weren't here, you'd probably crap your diaper. Let's take mine. Mark the violation on the ticket. Write your badge number and sign it. Put it behind the wiper. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go and click on the vehicle. Ah, it's a 1968 Reichswagen Hippie. Let's check the meter. It is expired. It looks like red here, and this one is clear. Um, so let's write him a ticket. So we have a parking violation issued by me, badge number 421, go. Ticket one. All right, ticket written up. So let's get this clunker out of here. Call for a tow truck on the radio. I'm keeping your ticket book. The boss gave you other tasks for the day. Okay. All right, so let's call towing. Have them tow this car, this van. It's cool painting on the van, though. I <laughs> like it. <laughs> 10 for a tow truck on its way. Tow truck's on its way? That's right. Good work. That was easy. The driver didn't show. The worst ones run up and cause a scene. We need to learn to pacify them. Any advice? Just be careful what you write on the ticket. You'll get an earful for the unlawful ones. Yeah, I bet. Okay, now the handcuffs. What about them? You'll use them every day. So you're going to need to learn how to cuff a perp. Just slap on the cuffs and down there on your belt. Okay, there they are. When you're close to him. Okay. Oh, 421. This is central. We've got a robbery at Hard Ricks. Oh, 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 oh. Aha. Come on. I got him. Thief in the blue hat. 1012 Central. I need a squad car to come pick up a perp. 104. Cars on the way. And there they come. These carrot trucks are, are in the no parking zone, too. But we don't have our ticket book. We can't write them a ticket. Okay. Good work, Polly. boy. My name is Kelly. Same difference. That thief looked like it was from the crew to me. Aside from the darkies, we also got the Italian mob in the area. I wouldn't mess with either if I were you. I wasn't born yesterday, man. Who knows? Just saying, you got two hostile forces in the area. Now we'll split up. Scope out the neighborhood and talk to people. I got a few things to take care of. I'll see you at the end of the shift. Remember, you don't need to push yourself to do everything every day. Let's meet up at 4 p.m. in front of Louise. Okay, there's Louise. So, where shall we go? I'm really anxious to see what's on the street here. We've got the Hardwick Cafe. What are you doing here, Captain? Oh, that's the Captain. I wanted to talk to you, Kelly. I'm listening. We should meet up more often. Thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. I know they're framing you. I want to help. With the murder charge? That kid wasn't a saint. There's nothing we can do for him. But this city needs you. Thank you, Captain. I didn't finish. <laughs> You're a good cop, but there's one condition. Those missing diamonds need to be found. There were no diamonds at the Senators. I don't know what there was and wasn't there. They need to turn up. The Senator's a key player in getting you out of this crap. Without him, we're both done for. It's a little shady, isn't it? You got 21 days. Then I'm retiring. If you can't find him, in three weeks, there will be nothing more I can do. Now you're giving me deadlines. I wasn't finished. <laughs> There's one more thing. If my hunch turns out to be right, then this case is going to rock the whole city. What are you staring at? I wasn't sure if you were finished, sir. <laughs> I was. Now get to work. Look at this. There's a cat here and birds pooping on people. Oh my god, this is good. Okay, so where should we go? Let's let's see. Where, where do we need to go? Find the missing jewelry. The captain will take care of the rest. But we also have Hardwick's Cafe, which we're near to. Let's go there. Let's go to the Hardwick's Cafe. Good day, officer. Good day, Officer Kelly. I'm the new cop in the neighborhood. Welcome. You're always welcome for coffee. 
on the house, or something stronger. Thank you. I'll be glad to drop by. Okay, so we visited Hardrick's. We've got liquor store, drug store, hi-fi electronics, and the church. Okay, so let's see what else we can find here. There's a boutique. There's a number of other places here. There's cat people. I love the characters. They are so adorable. This guy's smoking. Pigeons going on. Here's the liquor store. Good day, officer. Hello, I'm Kelly. Perhaps you can't drink on duty. But off duty, we can always something at a good price for you. Thanks. I'll have to take you up on that. Ha, I knew I liked you the moment I saw you. Laters. See you later. Okay. Oh, a lot of wildlife around here. Jeez. Wow. Do I need to go to the jewelry store? I don't know. What is that guy doing? Good day, officer. Can I help you with something? Hello. I came to introduce myself. I'm Jack Kelly, new to the area. Ah, yes. Could I interest you in a signet ring? An officer of the law should look sharp. I'll definitely impress the Italians. But no thanks. Keep an eye on my store, all right? Expensive stuff. It's tempting, right? What are you implying? People talk. Don't believe everything you hear. Goodbye. Goodbye. I thought I could ask her, maybe. Ooh, people plus. I don't know what that even means, but here. Can I talk to her about this neighborhood water problem? No, I guess not. That guy was, like, flying like a bird. I wonder if, like, he was a crazy dude or something. No idea. Ooh, garbage needs to be picked up. This. I can't. Eh, I can't write him a ticket. Here's a car parts. Oh, I can't get there. All right. There's no door to go in. Give them all tickets. Maybe they learned how to park. <laughs> Let's go to the drugstore. Good morning, Herr Officer. Officer Kelly, you look wunderbar in that uniform. Is there anything amiss? Any pain? Injuries? No, I just dropped by to introduce myself. I'm new here. Ah, yes, of course. Always at your service. Your predecessor brought a lot of medicine for embarrassing ailments. <laughs> oh, God. He completely neglected his health, but there was some semblance of order. I'll do my best. Plut and ha, huh, funny letters. What's this plaque? From the scouts. One of my mementos from the var. You lost everything? Unfortunately. My father fought in Europe. You two would have taken quite the trip down memory lane. Perhaps. In any case, I always offer the latest medicine. Discretion guaranteed. <laughs> until, he re <laughs> until he retires. Oh, you gotta call it a store. Froggy caught a thief. Froggy, where's that? I'm new here. Yes. Porn store at 613. On my way. Let's go. We've seen that. The, the porn store. <laughs> Oh my goodness, here it is. I think this is the one. Is this it? No, that's not it. Uh, where? Here we go. There you are. I finally bagged that thief. I was just looking. Is that what you always say? It's okay. I'll take care of it. So what did you do, punk? I was just looking. At what? Rubbers? Thief. Relax, froggy. Um, press him. Don't mess with me. Turn out your pockets. There you go. I see you got five bucks. Pay for the rubbers and get lost. But the rubber's a buck. Consider the rest damages. Dumb pig. You want me to lock you up with Mendingo? Fine, fine. I'm paying. But I'll remember this. Nicely done. I'll spread the good word about you. Glad I could help. Oh my god, I hope this guy's not a member of a gang or something. Okay. Alright. So, we still need to find the jewelry. Stamina money 50. Alright, so we need to go to electronics and the church. God, these are funny looking people. I love them. They're wonderful. 
They all have such character. So here's the drugstore. That's where we were at before we got distracted. So here's a diner. Man, everybody's like really not happy with this place. <laughs> here's the church. Saint family. God bless. Good morning. I'm Kelly. Kelly, Irish. After my great grandparents. Catholic? Sometimes. Okay, we'll talk more about that later. New transfer? Yep, I just came by to introduce myself. We get transferred a lot, too. Would you like to confess? Maybe some other time. I've got enough of that in front of the sergeant. <laughs> yeah. But does the sergeant love you like Jesus does? Does he forgive? Definitely not as often. Come by if you need guidance, my son. Maybe I will. See you later. Godspeed. Oh, get to a phone booth now. Okay. I don't know, but I suggest you hurry. They can't demote you any lower, so they'll just fire you. All right, I'm going. Oh my god, where is a phone booth? I'm going to try to go to the right. There's one. This is Kelly. What do you want, Holloway? That's Sergeant Holloway to you, dude. I swear on all that is holy, I'm calling you to let you know I'm watching you. What can I help you with, Sergeant, sir? Are you messing with me, Kelly? I wouldn't dare, Sergeant, sir. Your ex-wife, you filthy piece of crap, is giving her daddy hell. What? Says she's unhappy. And for that, I get crap from the chief. And I'm not going to get messed up because of you. Pay the alimony, don't mess around. Or I'll bury you, you Irish crap. Oh dear. Uh, but Sergeant, you don't know the whole... I don't, I don't care. I don't want to hear another word about her. Wow. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. That's all. Back to work. Yes, sir, Sergeant, sir. So it looks like I may have to make some money to pay the alimony. Man. Okay, crew minus four. Wow. People on the beat are neutral. All right, let's go to, here's the um, hi-fi radio and television. Yeah. Good morning. How can I help you? Good morning. I came by to introduce myself. I'm Kelly, new to the neighborhood. Nice to meet you. We could use someone to create some order around here. The police don't come around these parts very often. The entire neighborhood's important to us. Good to hear. Especially with neighbors like these. What do you mean? Well, that pawn shop next door. It's a legal establishment. Sure. What are you implying? That's your job, isn't it? I got my own. I have a lot of new stock and sales all the time. I also put in special orders. I'll drop by sometime. We can talk. Welcome. Okay, so I think we did pretty much everything. So we still have a couple hours until 4 p.m. Let's go and see the pawn shop. All right, yo, yo, yo. I'm Jaron Diggs and this is my joint. Officer Kelly. Everything's legit, officer. I didn't even ask. We know what they say about us. I'm new. I haven't heard yet. Welcome. You can always come to an agreement. Oh, there's a guy here who wants to talk. I don't have anything to pawn. Sometimes we've got something worth buying. Oh, good opportunities. I'll remember that. You drop by any time, officer. Better keep an eye on that one. Yeah, no kidding. That sounded very kind of creepy. What is this guy? Um... Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Hey, Commissioner. Don't you know the stripes? Of course not. Respect's important. The boss wanted me to let you know he's a reasonable man. Okay. And knows how to return a favor. And why are you telling me this? Just remember that, officer. That it'll be better that way. I wonder if he's part of the crew. Um, I'll agree. Not trying to make enemies here. That's true. Wise decision. You can often see us on the corners. 
make fat yo butts. Oh my gosh, this is a donut shop, I think, sweet around the hole. Oh my goodness. Good morning. Good morning. A dozen donuts? Not that kind of cop. Everyone says that. No one can resist our donuts. All right, then. I'll take one, please. One? Come on, guy. Just a taste test. You can take them back to the office, though, and share. This really is good. What did I tell you? See you soon. Okay, cool. Um, F Ford Rental. <laughs> I love the smell of exhaust fumes around me in the morning. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to make my way back to the pizza place. Oh, I'll visit the diner. Good morning. Good morning, Officer Kelly. Officers of the law are always welcome here. I could use a coffee. Coming right up. Today it's on the house. Nice. Thanks. That's a damn good cup of joe. The only kind we serve. I almost forgot. Wish I could stay, but duty calls. Oh well. See you later. See you later. Okay. Stamina plus two people. Up. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we gotta get there ASAP. Come on. Run, dude. Come on. Run, run, run. There we go. There you are. I've had a look around the neighborhood. Talk to people? I can handle this place. Sure. What are we waiting for? A friend wanted to meet you. What's he doing? Oh, crap. Polly, get down. <gasps> get down. <gasps> crap. That was a drive-by. Oh, my God. Fat Mike just got killed. <gasps> sorry, I'm sorry. For what? It's not that bad, man. You'll be alright. Mike, wake up. Stay with me. Paramedic, put, put that out and do something. Nothing left to do. Look, his guts are all over the ground. He's bleeding out. Damn. Kelly, watch what you say. The media's here. BS News. Can I ask you a few met questions? Move back. This is a crime scene. Oh, this is so sad, man. Oh. Dang. All right, day one recap. Money 50. I've met the owners of the biggest businesses in the street. People plus three. First ticket, police plus one. Didn't make it to the porn store in time. Oh, that's unfortunately. Police minus one. Kept no help with the murder rap. Got to find the missing diamonds. All right, got to find out who wanted to get rid of Fat Mike. Shootout, shootout was no accident. A gang operates in the area. I already got on their bad side by arresting that shoplifter. So that's the crew, I think. I need to have $300 for the alimony payment in three days. Oh, dear. <sighs> got my paycheck money plus 50. So in three days, I'll only have another $150. So I have to do something different to get more money. Oh my gosh, this is this is getting hairy. I wonder if I should play like bad cop in this game. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, here, kitty kitty, day two. I think we'll leave it right here for now, and um, and call it a day right there. Uh, call it an episode. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying this new game. I certainly am. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.